Air assisted loading technology works by blasting air up through the bottom of the scraper bowl just at the end of its loading cycle. This loosens the material that's already in the scraper bowl and allows new material to flow in. The operator begins pumping air into the load just as he's completing his loading cycle. pushing the dirt out in front instead of going in the scraper. So we don't quite have struck and he's an expert operator. That's as big a load as you can get. Not only did he get a bigger load, but he loaded in less time and less distance than the time without the air. We're using a small 142 horsepower tractor to load the 17-yard scraper. And now with the air assist not active, uh, it's all we can do with that tractor to squeeze in every amount of dirt that we can and still not getting a very big load. But we're using it as a baseline to demonstrate how much uh, bigger load you can get with the air system. Later in this load, we'll be using the air system. Right now, he's just loading uh, the traditional way, um, just using the tractor to scoop up as much dirt as he can before he starts using his air assist. All the air is blasted out of the tank in just a few seconds at the end of the loading cycle. And then the tanks are recharged during the transport, unloading, and return trip. When you're unloading, you can give a quick blast uh, to help clean out any remaining material out of the bucket. Here we're loading dry blow sand off of a dune, and uh, without the air, 
um, we can't even get uh, struck load. Here's the same sand dune, but this time we're using the air to assist in loading the dry sand. When you see visible um, blasts of air, that means the operator's wasting air um, using a little too much air. Ideally, the operator can pump just enough air into the load to keep it alive and moving inside the bowl without wasting any. If you listen carefully, you'll be able to hear and see the air being pumped in as this is being loaded.